Hey there, Aries. Hope you guys' weekend was good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out today for your guys' highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries. Tell about Aries, please. Aries. Somebody's not happy hearing about your life. Two more, Aries. Beginnings. Hopeful. Oh, somebody pissed off that you never gave up on yourself first off. You've got some new beginnings headed your way, and this person's panicking. Dreams. Your dreams could be significant right now. Something about your dreams coming true here. It's overall energy for Aries, please. Overall energy for Aries, please. Surrender. Surrendering and cutting ties with this connection. That's why these new beginnings are coming in for you. So this person did not expect for you to cut ties. And like it's like they lost control over this, the narrative with you, the situation with you. Like this is someone that wanted to try. This person wanted full control over you. And it's just this, they, lost, they lost their grasp. You accept that everything happens in divine order. Like this person's been patiently waiting for you to fall and you're not falling. It's not going to happen. So this person needs to be careful focusing so much on your downfall because it's going to happen to them. So you better be careful of that. This is about you taking all the time that you need for yourself, trusting and having faith and knowing that everything's going to line up when it's meant to in your life. Like this person, like you ran out of patience with them. And then this is someone that's been... Like patiently waiting for you to reach out something, fall on your face, and you're just not doing that. Get one for Aries, please. Hope is rising. See, this person's pissed off that you never gave up on yourself. You kept the faith. Your hope is rising. You're rising. Don't be afraid of the distance, touch, and feel. So this person wanted you to be... They wanted you to be in this fear mentality that you weren't going to be able to um, create a distance with them. Like you weren't going to be able to move on and live a better life without them. This person was only telling you that because they are the ones that are truly afraid to be left behind. And you've got no issue leaving this person behind. There's three people there. So it's something here about... A third person, like this person arguing with somebody else and you're the topic of discussion here. So you're not afraid to go within and do the internal work and, you know, be in touch with your feelings and just, um, you know, create boundaries and just the more time that you're getting away from this individual, the more that everything is just feels lighter for you, we'll say. Everything is under control. Exactly. Everything is under control. This person thought they had you under control, but joke's on them. This person tried to stack all these cards up against you, and you just flipped that whole table over on them. So they didn't have anything under control. You're the one that truly has the control in this situation. That's why they're freaking out right now. Aries. Tolerance. I am a tolerant. Hey, well, let me say that again. It didn't sound right. I am tolerant. I cooperate with others and willingly compromise when it's for the greater good. So this person is used to you compromising and, um, you know, going against what you wanted for yourself. It's like you overextended yourself to this person more than one time. And this person still wants you to tolerate their, their bull crap and you're just not doing it. You only compromise with it's for the greater good. And this person clearly doesn't want to do good or make any changes. That's why you're done with it. And they're trying to reconcile with you. Forgiving others, knowing they did the best they could do under their circumstances. Peace and love abound. So this person's trying to figure out how to reconcile this connection with you. I always say forgive people so it lets you move. It frees you and you can move forward here. So this person doesn't like that you're able just to let them go with love and light as well. That will irritate this person that much more that they, their, present has, their presence has no importance or value in your life anymore. Like that's going to make this person that much more mad, but oh well. See, this person wants to try to come in here and uh, pull on your compassion here. 
This person's trying to figure out how to get you to see the good in them again. It's like this person wanted you to have a bad outlook on anything new. Like they didn't want you to open back up and entertain new things here. This person, all they did was sharpen your compassion. Like this person for sure thought that they left a bad taste in your mouth and that you were going to be negative like they were, but all it did was just make you stronger. So let me get one for Aries. What do they need to surrender at this time? Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So there's something here about you, you know, speaking with this person but just hearing them out but not responding in like a defensive way like I said earlier letting this person go with love and light not phased by this energy this is a very stubborn person that's angry and resentful and they wanted you to hang on to that with them and you're not doing that good for you Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And that's what you're doing here is putting your manifestations out there, whatever you're wanting for yourself and doing everything that you can to achieve that goal. And then just leading by faith and trusting that everything is going to line up for you when it's meant to. I feel like you just surrendered this connection to spirit too. It's just like it is what it is. This past person's trying to go around and make it seem like they, they, they got their life under control and they're better off without you. And that is far from the truth. Like this person's going around and just, you know, saying a facade, trying to create a facade. It's like they're lying to, their, to themselves that they're doing better without you because this person's not. They're, they're butt hurt over you. Tell me about unsettled. Why is this here? Arguments about you. This person's hearing about how well you're doing. This person could have uh, went towards someone else and like they're they're arguing, they're bickering, they're not doing good over there. Tell me about unsettled. Tell me about unsettled. Seven of Pentacles. This person's hearing about your growth, hearing about these seeds that you've been planting. They're seeing how everything is materializing for you. All of your dreams are coming to fruition. They're seeing the growth on you. They're just seeing all this. And for some of you, this person's invested somewhere else and they're they're arguing. They're not doing good where they're at here. Some of you guys could be investing into new love connection and this person's hearing about that as well. Tell me more about Unsettled. Five of Swords. See, this person thought they had won this game, but you just put your sword down and walked away and they thought they defeated you, but now they're realizing like you're not playing these games with them anymore. Like you're staying quiet. So this is somebody that likes to play some games. This is someone that will one-up you, try to, you know, they, they would prefer you arguing with them and you're not doing that. So keep your silence from this person. Like this person did everything they could to try to, you know, steal your joy from you. And it's blowing up in their face. They're feeling defeated. This person, if they're inter if they're connecting with somebody right now, they're trying to, like, there's arguments. They're trying to run away from that. Um... This person, they, they run away. They're a coward. They don't know how to, you know, look themselves in the mirror and take accountability. So they'll take off. They'll start fights. They'll take off. They'll go run to someone else. So this person for sure thought that they were going to take off, run to someone else. They were going to do better. But they're fighting and bickering over there where they went. And now this person's trying to figure out how to, like, try to get back into your good graces again. It's like a fast moving energy they want it now very reckless very impulsive so this person is trying to figure out they're going back and forth on how they can approach you this person is everything that they've tried to say do send behind your back like you, you're able to balance that all out and they're like how the hell do you do that this person thought you were your boat was they thought they sunk your ship now they're looking back and realizing they're the ones on the ship that's going down and you're over here taking off. So this person thought that you was going to be depressed, feeling down, feeling isolated, feeling hurt, and you're not. You've just left this person out in the cold and you're not looking at them the same anymore. This person could be having money issues. There's something here about this person and your finances. They're hearing about that too and they're pissed off. So this person tried to hold you back from... Um, living your best life and they can't do that anymore this is somebody that 
doesn't like that you are now holding back from them. It was okay when they were doing it to you, but now that you're doing it to them, they don't like it. Now this person wants to try to play the victim. This is somebody that will run to someone else and tell that person all the mean things that you did to them when it was them that was doing it to you. This person doesn't realize how strong you are. They, they're realizing it now, the resilience that you have. Like this person's so pissed off the way that you are able to get back up. You get knocked down, you get back up. So that's what that's the thing about us resilient people. You might knock us down for a minute, but we're going to get back up and we're going to keep fighting you. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep going. So eventually this energy will tucker out. You've got you've got all fight in you. Like you you aren't taking anybody's bull crap anymore. That's good. Some of you guys are going into a new connection here. So this person is going to have to sit back and hear how well you are with this new person here. Something here about your passions, something here about just um, what gives you drive and life again. Like they're hearing about all of your passionate new beginnings. And some of you guys have a passionate new beginning with somebody else here. Somebody is going into a new connection with somebody and they're going to have to feel unsettled. And if this person went into a connection with someone else, they, they're not happy where they're at. And if there's nobody at all new new towards you, this is about you just staying committed to yourself, working on your finances, and just really growing, evolving. And this person's hearing about it, and they're pissed. Tell you about beginnings. New beginnings. The fool. I love this. This is brand new energy. This is a ready to take new risks, ready to go down a different path, ready to take a new journey here. And you got this past person wanting to try to stop you from going in a new direction here for yourself. Don't let them do that. This person wants to try to keep you stuck. This person doesn't like how you shift your perspective perspective, and you look at everything differently now. Like this person's trying to come in here and try to convince you to, you know, look at them in the same light that you did before all the bull crap took place between the two of you. But you, you've had your awakening. You've been enlightened here. And a lot of you guys have new beginnings because you stepped into this enlightenment as well. Pulling back from situations. New beginnings headed your way. Make sure you're reading the fine print. You, you know, new love offers coming towards you. If it could be other areas of your life. Just make sure that you're seeing things for what it is. This past person doesn't like that you're isolating, that you, you're pulling away from them. So this past person sees... This past person um, knows that you're creating all this generational wealth, that you've got this financial freedom that you've been manifesting for yourself. And this is somebody that wants to try to get in on this these blessings of yours. Some of you guys are, and then there's something here about this person trying to figure out if you are entertaining somebody new. Because some of you guys are going into new connections and you're building a solid foundation with somebody that wants the same things as you do. And some of you guys are just in this single energy, ready just to go towards new things. Something here about just something that's going to really set you off to where you don't have to depend on anybody financially. That's a side note for somebody. That's a new beginning that's coming in for you. So staying in this independent energy and not taking anything back from the past and opening up for new things and love if that's what you're wanting. And just being in this independent energy and just really finance is looking good, man. And now you got this past person trying to figure out how to come back and try to get you stuck in this mindset. Like they are so worried and stressed about your new beginnings here. So they want to try to get in here and try to get you to second guess yourself. Like you're not making the right choice by, by leaving them, which you already have those. What doesn't make sense? Tell about hopeful Aries. Never gave up hope on yourself. That's beautiful. Keeping the faith. Not a wand. See this person doesn't like that you have taken inspired action to um, go towards better things for yourself. Like this is somebody that's hoping that you're going to fall, you know, fall again for their for their their reckless non-committal energy here. There's something here about this person trying to come in here and convince you that they ain't playing these games anymore. Tell me more about hopeful. Three of Swords. Somebody does this person, if you're opening back up for new love, this person's really going to try to come in here and convince you not to go towards anything new. Like, 
this person stabbed you in the heart, but you never, you never lost hope for yourself here. Somebody's going towards a new connection and building with a new person. While this, it's like the, those tables turn. So I feel like this table's turning. Like this person's going to have to watch somebody new come in for you while they're on the the back. And if and if this person went towards someone else, like they're not doing good. Them two are fighting and arguing. This person doesn't like that you are in your masculine energy when it comes to this past person here. Like building that empire, protecting what's yours, providing for yourself and your children if you have kids. But just being in that go-getter mentality and just not, not letting this control freak back in for you anymore. Like this is someone that's pissed off that they lost control. You've closed the cycle out. You're hopeful for new cycles to come in. And then this past person is hopeful that they can lure you back into another vicious cycle here success coming in um i keep hearing victory is yours victory like just riding off into the sunset victory is yours new cycles opening up you got this past person trying to figure out how to get your attention here but i feel like you're getting attention from other people that's why this this past person's pissed off as well they see that you you know people you're a catch and this past person is like they tried to tried to get you to not know your worth and value because they they saw the potential in you and they know that others would be interested in you that's why they wanted to strip you of that Having that inner strength and that courage, holding back from this person, keeping your silence here. And this person's been spying, observing you, watching you create this life for yourself. Now this person's in their feelings now. This is someone that doesn't know how you quite feel about them because your emotions are more reserved. You're not reacting anymore like they once were able to get you to do. Like that's growth all on its own. Acknowledge that, guys. Not falling for this manipulation anymore. Hopeful that there's better love connections coming towards you, which there is, guys. No longer waiting on the past to get them any act right. Like this past person's hopeful that you're still, you know, waiting on them. But you done, you're looking outward. You, you want better for yourself. Like you're ready to start going down a new path, a new journey. Kids are significant for somebody here. There's something here about the past that this um, person, there's something here about what you've told, like, somebody had a conversation with their ex here, like how they wanted their life to be and where they envisioned themselves. And it's like this person tried to, um, tried to get you to have like a, a negative outlook on like, on that. Like you weren't able to make that happen here. A lot of you guys, um, are cl clearing up karma from past life. Um, fulfilling contracts into this lifetime. No longer going back to past and operate. Like this past person is still doing the same things that you guys, um, the reason you guys had a falling out, the, the arguments that took place. Like this person is still doing that same stuff. Like you're, you're going to run back into another headache dealing with this person. So now we're thinking more logically. We're not leading with our emotions. We're not letting this person pull on our empathy anymore. And we are definitely speaking up for ourselves. We're not letting our throat chakra stay closed anymore. We're going to speak our truth and we're going to see the clarity for what it is. And then we're going to cut this person out of our life and not look back. Let's talk about dreams. So dreams could be significant. Something about your dreams. You could be getting downloads in your dreams. Tell me about dreams. Dreams coming true. So somebody is, somebody is trying to like, they're going, it's like somebody really wanted you to doubt yourself, what you wanted for yourself. Like this person, it's like they don't have nothing going on in their life, so they wanted to try to take that from you. Something here about balancing, something here about, you could be having dreams like you're, you're, you're flipping back and forth, like you're, like you could have dreams where you're running, where you're, have you ever had a dream where you're like running and you can't catch up to that where you're trying to head? That's what I'm like feeling like somebody's having dreams like they're trying to catch up to you, but they can't. So, and then five of pentacles, something here about somebody having dreams about 
losing stuff. So I feel like your past person's being like having nightmares when it comes to you. Like they they could be having um dreams about like their finances, just not they're not doing good. Like and it's like this person tried to this person purposely tries to isolate you and tries to get you to um they it's like walking on eggshells. They want you to um not trust yourself. There's something here about your dreams that this person really tried to make it seem like you weren't going to be able to do that. And you clearly are doing that. So keep going. <clears throat> See, this person's trying to hold you back from your dreams. And they're still trying to do this. They're trying to hold you back from going towards new love if that's what you're wanting. But this person is... They, they know that you're destined for some good things here. And they want to try to hold you back from that. See, this person likes to play the victim. Some of you guys could be like having dreams of like this person could be showing up in your dreams. Uh, to me, that's like a warning that this person's getting ready to come back and to keep your guards up because this person will hurt you again if you let them back in. This person's having dreams about a new lover showing up for you. And then you guys very well could be having dreams about a, a new person showing up for you. Something here about your passion, your what makes you happy, your passion, your drive for life, like finding that creative outlet outlet, and just going towards your dreams and just excelling at that. Somebody's definitely having some dreams about their finances, like how everything is just working out in your favor. And some of you guys are dreaming about a new person. And then this past person is trying to get in the way of your dreams because I feel like you know, some of you guys just want love, your, your finances, your career, and then others, like, you only want career. So I'm picking up on a few different scenarios here, but this person wants to get in the way of your dreams. So Earth, Air, Air, Aries, Pisces, Fire, Air, Earth, Aries, Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Fire, Earth, and Earth here. Dreams, paying attention to your dreams at this time and not letting this past person get in the way of your dreams. Moving on. Moving forward, that's why this person wants to try to come back and reconcile because they know that you're done. And this is someone that will try to shame you, try to make you feel bad for leaving and moving forward. Like, how dare you leave me behind? But this is somebody that already tried to, like, tried to like tear your self-esteem down, try to jab at your insecurities. That's what this person would do, and they would project how they felt about themselves onto you. And you already see this person in their red flags. That's why you're over it. Like this person did everything they could to try to um, try to take you down, try to make you miserable, and it did nothing but sharpen you. So now this person feels disregarded by you because you're evolving and you're growing. It was okay when they tossed you to the side, but now that you don't want nothing to do with them, they they, they pressed about it. Aries. Photographs, memories, nostalgia, the past returns. That's what this person's doing. They're staring at your photos. So if you're thinking about this person a lot, it's because they're trying to manifest you to come to them. So this person is trying to get you nostalgic. This person wants you to open your heart back up to them. You've been healing your emotional pains, preparing for new love. Like this past person, they try to put a band-aid over a bullet wound. And a lot of you guys are done with like brushing things under the rug and not acknowledging your pain and trauma anymore that's like ripping that band-aid off and going within and really healing your heart that way you can experience real true authentic love for yourself and you, there's someone here that is definitely preparing for new love tell me more fair is fair and that's justice balancing back out so some of you guys could have a court case with this past person, but this person doesn't feel like this is fair now. They want to try to come back and balance something back out with you. And they don't feel like it's fair that your life is um, turning out the way it is. Tell me more. Oh, this is a jealous person. Scared of losing you. See, this person worked so hard to try to get you to be scared of losing them, but when in reality, it was them that was scared of losing you. This is a... Um, a very, like, somebody that thought of you as somebody new is making this person extremely jealous, man. And it, and it makes it, and it's almost like 
they like they would do things when you guys were connected and they would try to tell you that I'm just protective over you. Now now I you know I am one that likes the protective quality but sometimes that that's a little overkill. So you have to watch people that say that to you because sometimes it's protective energy is just somebody trying to just have control over you. Consuming passion, lustful desire, sexual chemistry. So that's what this person is still doing. They're still in this player energy. They still lustful. They still have a wandering eye. They they still sleeping around for somebody here. Tell me more. Lone wolf energy. Free spirit. Happily single. Some of you guys are choosing to stay single. Some of you guys are wanting to open back up for love. But just being in this lone wolf energy, not having to be in the crowd here. Like this other person, they have to be entertained by other people. You don't. You know your worth and you don't need anybody to validate you. Right here waiting. Expectations, yearning, and longing. See, this person thought you was just going to be right around, right here waiting on them like you weren't going anywhere. This person had a lot of high expectations of you, but I feel like nothing that you said or did was good for good enough for this person. Like this waiting period's up. Like you're done giving this person any any more chances to get them any act right because they clearly aren't wanting to change. Aries, clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes stuff up. Very dramatic person. And now they're crying over you. They sad. They hurt. They're upset. That's just what this is. What they're going to bring to you is this crying. Giving you those crocodile tears. Tell me more. Move in silence. A lot of you guys already are moving in silence. But make sure that you're moving in silence. Not everybody needs to know if you're opening back up and talking to new people. You know, and, and your victories. Not everybody needs to know about your victories and what you've got going on. Because trust you me, not everybody's happy to see you win. So learning how to celebrate yourself, guys. This person doesn't like that you... The, the way that you are, like, they're trying to figure out. So, it's like you're moving in silence, but there's something here about this person still figuring out what you're doing. So, this person's still getting information about you a certain way here. Tell me more. Bad karma, man. This is somebody here that is not doing well. This is somebody that is having some bad karma headed their way if they're not in it already. Don't take on this person's karma. Some of you guys are this person's karma. Happiness hater just flew out. Let me grab that. So this is somebody that's not happy. They, they don't want to see you happy. If they're not happy, you're not allowed to be happy either, don't you know? So they don't want to see you be happy with anybody else. It's, they don't even want to see you happy by yourself even. Tell me more. So this is somebody that's trying to figure out how to get you daydreaming, fantasizing about them again. Because they clearly are fantasizing and dreaming about you. They want to get you, like, they want your mind so consumed with the thought of them that you don't, like, you're not even, like, going towards anything new. Like, they, they want your universe to revolve around them. This person tried to make you have a bad reputation and there's something about this person's reputation being exposed for who they are. Because this past person, they do. They got a bad reputation. And they over here creeping. Lurking in the background. Watching you. Observing you. I felt that. This person's definitely keeping... like They're getting information some way, somehow on you. You're uninterested. And this person knows this. And then this person tried to use like scarcity tactics, trying to bully, trying to force, you know, you to forcing, trying to still gain control over your life here. Like that ain't working on you. Your light irritates this person demon too. This is somebody that doesn't like no matter what they tried to say, do like you're still this beautiful, loving, compassionate person. Continue shining that beautiful light of yours and continue being unfazed. Aries. A 
enough's enough. Drawing the line, keeping these boundaries up. That's another reason this person's pissed off. They don't like these boundaries that you've created with them. Enough is enough. You've drawn the line. You've had enough with this person. And this is someone that's very dishonest. Someone that tries to use deception and try to keep you stuck in this web so they can feed off of you. Drain you of your love, your time, your finances. Just this beautiful light that you have trying to put that light out. Tell me more. Masculine. So we've got a masculine energy trying to come back. And a lot of you guys are in your masculine energy when it comes to this person. You're not letting this person, um, you're, you're just, you're pushing back at this person and they don't like it. And a lot of you guys have new masculine energies coming toward you. And if you are a male watching this, you dealt with a female that was clearly operating in her masculine energy. So this past person wants to try to get you to fall for these mixed signals again. This is someone that doesn't like that they didn't, like, I feel like maybe at one time they had your emotions blocked, but it's like you, you've you learned to go within and open up your heart chakra and just work on your emotions and being able to open back up for either yourself or for new love. And this person's mad about it. Tell me more. Tell me this person, man. This is somebody that's cursing themselves. This is somebody that, this is somebody that really, really tried to they wanted you to fall on your face so bad and all it did was cur they just cursed themselves by trying to come for you this person's got a negative mindset so they hex themselves by trying to do what they did to you continue hope continue having that hope energy continue keeping the faith and continue manifesting your desires here don't give up on yourself that's what this person was hoping. They were hoping they were going to get you in this negative mindset and that you would just lose, like you were just going to drop and like give up on yourself. And you clearly didn't. Good for you. So this is someone that likes to cloud your judgment. They like to cloud other people's judgments about you. They like to create illusions. This is a very distorted person. Now they want to try to come back and, and confess to you. They want to come clean. This person is still conflicted, and this is someone that wants you to be conflicted. You guys will clash if you let this person back. This person's shocked. They did not expect for you to just keep transmuting that energy and bouncing back. Like this person tried to do and say a lot of things, and it just ended up creating trouble for themselves. Continue balancing, continue being in this harmonious energy. Some of you guys could be hanging out with somebody that you're just friends right now and that friend's going to turn into more. Some of you guys are making new friend groups here, but continue being at peace here, guys. Continue healing. Continue releasing, purifying, and cleansing yourself here. The person's got a lot of bad stuff coming for them. For I wouldn't want to be this person. I'll just put it to you like that. Aries. If you find your, I have seen this card a lot today. If you find yourself stuck in a situation you are unhappy with, ask yourself, why are you still there? Is it fear of the unknown? Leaving toxic situations or people can be the best thing you could do for yourself. Wait, leaving toxic situations or people. Leaving, okay, hang on. That didn't sound right. Leaving toxic situations or people can be the best thing you can do for your soul and your spirit. Be fierce, be free. What areas of your life are you avoiding? Are they causing you upset, worry, disrupted sleep? If so, these are the areas you need to focus on. As much as you don't want to, it is necessary. Tackle your demons head on. Don't allow them to rule you for a second longer. I feel like that's more like for your past person. I feel like they've been trying to avoid everything that they need to work on. And now it's all starting to catch up for them. And like I said, this person was been waiting for your downfall and it's, it's never going to happen. It's like this person is creating all this bad juju for themselves. So, all right, my beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys Wednesday.